Hey guys, I'm back again. So, uh, as you know, battery life isn't the best on the Galaxy Alpha. Uh, coming in with the uh, 1080, uh, 1890 mAh battery. You know, it's going to be quite weak compared to the competition. Uh, but there are some stuff you can do to improve on it, which I've found, uh, which I can show you in this video. Uh, which should uh, basically allow it to last a day uh, of moderate use so the first thing you need to make sure of is to ensure that your uh, location setting is on uh, GPS only now some people would say put on power saving but that kind of reduces the functionality of your smartphone uh, at the end of the day you do want it to be a smartphone you don't want it to be a dumb phone or you just get a uh, like an old Nokia brick or something so uh, make sure that that's on GPS mode because I found that high accuracy really kills a device uh, and kills a lot of my devices when it's on high accuracy and doesn't really give you that many benefits in regards to mapping etc over just using the GPS uh, the other thing you can do as well uh, if you go into your about device and then hit the build number a couple of times and then once you are in there uh, if you find developer options you should be able to disable these animations uh, which uh, all make use of the GPU and if it's making use of the GPU it means it's using battery life sure your phone might not have such fancy transitions and slickness about it but you have two benefits in that it's quicker now uh, because when you go into stuff it will just pop as opposed to uh, you know have a fancy animation and also your battery life will be uh, increased as well which is uh, pretty cool uh, next thing you know quite straightforward with this one uh, make sure you're using the auto brightness and because it's a very bright screen, I'd suggest that you keep it on very low uh, most of the time. As you can see, I've got it on the lowest auto brightness setting there. Still very visible, even though it's very light in this room. Uh, and that will t you know, get rid of some of the strain on the battery. Uh, but for the purposes of this video, I'm just going to keep it on medium uh, to stop the uh, flicker caused by the AMOLED. Uh, but uh, that is one thing that you definitely need to look at doing also make sure that when you you know using your device uh, that uh, things such as NFC is off you know 99% of the time you don't need to use it unless you do uh, you tap and pay and things like that and that does drain battery life uh, also Bluetooth as well you know unless you uh, are using Bluetooth I'd say get that turned off straight away uh, because uh, you know if it's scanning around for stuff then uh, it's going to be using your battery life Wi-Fi there's some settings in there that you can do uh, which uh, can help with your battery life for example keep Wi-Fi on uh, when it's asleep you don't really need to do that unless you need the Wi-Fi on when it is asleep so you can turn that off uh, make sure that uh, you've got a data plan which gives you unlimited data obviously because it will switch to that uh, and you might want to turn that off as well or that will uh, make uh, like a battery drain as well uh, so uh, also uh, there's uh, also another setting in the Wi-Fi uh, which uh, is, yeah I think it's this one turn that off always allow scanning because it's using your battery uh, it's also worthwhile mentioning that 4G really kills your battery life uh, so uh, you know if it's not 100% necessary uh, then go into your settings and then go into more networks uh, I don't have a sim in this device at the moment but uh, basically in this setting you should be able to go into your mobile networks uh, and then there should be a switch that allows you to turn to either 3G or 2G etc. I wouldn't advise going to 2G 
because uh, that's going a bit far but I think 3G should be sufficient uh, I think this device supports DC HSPA which is very 4G like in terms of the speeds so that will help save a lot of battery life uh, and uh, is very worthwhile to do uh, so uh, I think those are the main things in the settings uh, and uh, in there is a battery setting as well uh, which uh, here it is power saving you know you can use these power saving modes like the the lighter one uh, which uh, basically fulfill all the functionality you get on the Play Store like from Juice Defender uh, but uh, be aware that uh, it will underclock your processor uh, and uh, you know make things a bit laggier uh, you can also put on this grayscale as well which uh, a bit retro uh, for extreme power saving there's also ultra power saving mode but that severely cripples your device in terms of what you can do with it so I wouldn't recommend that uh, but uh, other things you could try and do as well uh, is when you are uh, basically out and about and you don't have a need for like uh, some of these stuff such as uh, your air view where is it there it is you can turn that off yes it's very fancy to show to your friends and you know makes the device stand out but I'd say get it off if you want the, the, the most battery life out of the device. Uh, motions and gestures, I'd say turn these off. You know, I think they're all going to be using your battery life because they've got sensors scanning uh, for these gestures. So I just turn them all off. Uh, what else we got? I think those are the main things really uh, and once you've uh, done that uh, you should have uh, better battery life uh, you could also disable the sync on some of your accounts that uh, are not 100% important uh, such as for example if you've got email accounts uh, which uh, I've just got Google on this one but if you've got lots of different email accounts you could set the sync schedule to be a lot less uh, intensive and that would help your battery life or just turn off auto sync altogether uh, but uh, that's going quite far definitely don't have it on push because that will drain a lot of battery life but uh, yeah you know with doing these things I think you should be able to get a day out of it uh, and uh, I hope that uh, you found this video informative and if you did uh, please thumbs it up, it does help and I will see you next time. Cheers.